It is said that teaching something to a child is much easier than teaching the same thing to an adult. Because the mind of a child is just like a sponge. It absorbs everything that has been taught to them. And for this particular reason, it becomes extremely difficult to make them unlearn something that they have already been taught but was incorrect and teach the same thing again correctly. So as a parent or teacher, it is our responsibility to make sure whatever we are going to teach them, the concepts and the process is right. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about six mistakes that parents and sometimes teachers do while teaching phonics to young children that can slow down and in some cases even hamper their learning process. So without delay, let's start. Now the first mistake we do as parents is teaching letter names instead of teaching the letter sounds. I'm 100% sure that we all have done this. As parents, we love to teach kids when they are very young. And there are so many songs and rhymes around and so that, that it feels kind of fun and engaging for children to learn something new. But what we don't realize is teaching letter names does not solve any purpose. But what it does is it confuses the child when they start learning the letter sounds or when they start to read the words. Now let's understand this with an example. A youth a child knows all their letter names. Now you want them to read simple three letter words. Say C A T cat. Simple. But they know the first letter C as C, not K, which is the first sound of the letter word cat. They know A as A, not A, which is the middle sound of the word, and they know T as T, not T, which is the last sound of the word. So a word which I am saying as cat, the child with their knowledge of just the letter names will be able to pronounce it somewhat like C-A-T and not the proper word cat. Please understand the point. We are teaching them the letter C as C, but the expecting them to read it as they sound C in a word cat. This is not going to happen. This will happen only with the knowledge and understanding of letter sounds and blending those letter sounds to make words. Please understand there is no correlation between the names of the letters and how they are pronounced in a word, which is basically the sounds of those letters. And hence, there is no point teaching the names of the letter to young children. And that is the first and most basic mistake that we often do as parents. The next mistake we often do as parents is not working on developing a strong phonemic awareness in children. Now, phoneme is basically the single unit of sound and phonemic awareness is ability of the child to manip identify and manipulate the phonemes or independent sounds in a word to make different words. For example, isolate the phonemes or segment, blend, manipulate. For example, if we take the word math, there are three phonemes in this word, hmm? act. So the phonemic awareness of a child is not just the ability of identifying these three phoneme sounds, but also being able to manipulate those to make multiple words. For example, what if I uh, replace the letter hmm? with sh? The child should be able to make the new word sat. And what if I just interchange the places of three phonemes? It might become another word and the child should be able to read that word again. And this is what phonemic awareness means. Phonemic awareness is identified as one of the most important predictor of a child's success in reading. And hence, we should focus more on working on developing a strong phonemic awareness in children while teaching phonics. Now you can use multiple games and activities to develop a strong phonemic awareness in children. Now end goal here is to basically understand whether the child is capable enough of identifying the sounds in a word. Whether the child is able to identify all the particular sounds in a word. Are they able to understand their place? The place of individual sounds or phonemes in a word, whether it is a beginning sound, a middle sound or an end sound. Are they able to segment a word into independent sounds or are they able to blend different sounds to make words and are they able to manipulate those phonemes to make multiple words? 
Now another mistake we parents do uh, probably because of lack of knowledge is not using multi sensory approach. This is basically true for not just phonics but for any topic or subject you are teaching young children. Multi sensory approach basically engages all the senses of a child through fun and creating creative activities. You can be as creative as possible by using all the things around the house. For example, while teaching them the letter formations, you can make use of say sand uh, writing on the sand or writing on a tray of salt or shaving gel or foam or play doh there are endless possibilities now another mistake that we often do is not following a proper structure and sequence and i am one of them uh, initially when i started teaching adit uh, i was relying heavily on all the free content that i that was available online like youtube videos or blogs and that did provide a very good information but it lacked a proper structure i didn't know what to teach when and that was the main reason for me going to pursue uh, the jolly phonics and grammar course now following a proper structure and sequence is extremely important because it makes a strong foundation for child which later on helps them understand and decode complex words and read text fluently now another mistake we often do is not providing enough reading practice through right set of age appropriate decodable phonics book now decodable phonics books are basically books specially designed uh, that have words that can be easily decoded with the knowledge of phonics they have words that are age appropriate and level appropriate choosing level books for reading practice uh, helps child gain confidence in reading uh, for example if we give them any book to read they will come across the words that are maybe non decodable through their phonic knowledge that they have learned or they will come across words that are completely irregular or some sight words that they haven't learned yet as per their level of phonics understanding and this ultimately will uh, negatively impact their uh, reading journey and also hampers their confidence level There are so many decodable books available in the market and I have specifically made a video on this particular topic on how to choose the level decodable phonics reader sets for your child. You can check it out. I will give the link in the description. But for to just name a few of them, uh, there are Asbon uh, first reader set, there are Songbird books by Julia Julia Donaldson, uh, there are uh, Read at Home series that is extremely uh, well created to, for uh, new readers to just gain confidence by reading the text now the last mistake that i'm going to talk about that we often do is not providing enough practice with the new sound or spelling or skills we have taught the children whenever we are teaching children a new sound or skill it is important to provide them enough time to practice the learned skill or the sound to internalize it before moving to the next one uh, for example ideally in jolly phonics curriculum we uh teach one sound per day but we also provide enough practice like before introducing the next sound the next day we practice the sound we have taught the children the previous day so that it becomes a routine to practice what they have learned before learning the new concept or the sound this was all for today's video i hope this video has helped you in some way and has provided you some insight in how you can improve uh, your teaching ways and methods of phonics to your young children I am trained in Jolly Phonics and Grammar and I teach parents how they can make their children an extremely effective readers uh, at young age at home without spending a bomb. I also provide one-on-one -on -one coaching for parents it's a 5 day program. So in case you are interested you can drop your comments in the uh, below section and I will get back to you. I also share a tons of resources and videos on my Instagram handle which is mentioned here. You can care to follow there also and if you like this video do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get future notifications till the next video have a good day bye bye